Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to continue from task one of this project, C -X -C -X -V. So this says we should write a program that prints the number of argument passed into it. All right, so in this case, we are going to print the number of argument. In the previous example, we printed what the file name, right? So now we are going to print the number of argument. So before we continue, let me quickly pass this information. For those interested in our C mentorship program, the course application for the seventh batch is currently open. So kindly go to bitweblearn.com.ng, which is our newly launched learning management system, and then go to courses. Under courses, you'll be able to see ALX Complete C programming course. So because I'm already logged in, that's why I'm seeing continue learning here. In your own case, you will see start learning. Okay, so if I click on continue learning now, so as you can see, I have the project here. These are the first ones created, how to clear repositories, hello world, how to install Betty, all this. These are all the ALX project, as you can see here, we have them on this website. Okay, so for instance, if I want to access the small functions, more nested loops, I will just click on this. And as you can see, all the materials are here okay so here as well if i want to access functions and nested loops all the course materials are here so if you're really interested in taking part in this mentorship program kindly message me using the whatsapp link in the description of this video and then i will share a coupon code which will give you a 30 percent discount on this course believe me this course is very affordable okay also if you have a course that you want to sell on this website, you can register as an instructor. Simply come here and then you can click on instructor registration. You can register as an instructor because I've already registered. That's why you're seeing you are not registered as an instructor. In your own case, you'll see a registration form which you need to fill. Okay, so after filling the registration form and after uploading your course, the course will be reviewed. And once everything is fine, we are going to make it available for others to have access to. Okay, so if there is any inquiry you want about being an instructor or enrolling in the C programming course, kindly message me, like I said, using the WhatsApp link in the description of this video, and I will answer your question. And also, I will share the coupon code that you need to get 30% discount on our mentorship program. So thank you very much, and let's continue. And also, what is responsible for holding the number of argument AXI is responsible, right? So it means we are going to print whatever AXI is holding in this video. So let's create the test file. Sorry, the file. One, this. So let's include our stdio. stdio.h. So what is the file name? Sorry. Function name is main. I'll just say print what number oops this is going to be print number of arguments right i think then what at axi i'll just say arguments right arguments count and then here at at v right at at v so it is going to be argument vector right so the next thing is what the return value which is zero yeah so here i'll just say int main okay i've not closed it yeah so int main so this is going to be int ag c right then car asterisk at v and this all right so what are we interested in printing the number of argument right so this is very simple to do we are printing the number of arguments so we just say axi isn't it we are just printing axi so here i will just say printf and then i'll pass in what number of argument is in integer so i pass in percentage d backward slash n so here i'll just say axi because axi is responsible for holding the number of argument right so here i will just say return zero but when you look at this, I'm not using at v here, right? I'm not using at v throughout this function. So I need to pass void, right? So I need to say void, just like the way we did in the previous example, and then I'll say at v. Else, you will have an error during compilation. So let's run Betty on this. Betty, all right, Betty is fine. So let's compile. Compile, pistes. All right, so it has been compiled. So let's run the compiled file. So as you can see here, after running the file here, I got what I got one. 
But in, when you look at their own here, when they run the file, they got zero. So it means that they are not including their file name as what? As an argument. Do you get it? Let's print this now. Let's pass this argument here. Paste. So did you see that I got two here? So in their own case, they got one. So it means that this file name here is not considered as part of the argument because it is already the file name. Definitely, you need to run the file before you be able to pass argument. So this is not considered as an argument. Okay? It is not considered as an argument. The file name here, as you can see, it begins with this dot and forward slash. So it is not an argument. So what is considered as an argument is whatever that comes after the what? The, the file name. So here... This is the only argument we are supposed to have. Hello. So that's why they are only here. They are having one. It's because they don't consider this as argument. So how can we modify our code not to consider what is in index zero as what as an argument? So all I need to do here is I will just come here inside my printf. I will just say what? I will just say minus one. Why am I minusing one? Because I don't want axi, the, sorry, the file name to be part of the argument. So that's why I need to subtract one. If I have three arguments just like this here, if I have something like this here, the file name and the program, sorry, the file name and also the argument, hello, here. So I have two arguments. So if I subtract one from it, that's how I'll be able to get the exact argument without the number, sorry, the file name being included. Do you get it? So that's why I say axi minus one. Axi by default will count including the file name. But in this case, we don't want the file name to be included. So we have to subtract one. That is that of the file name. Okay, so now let's compile the program again. All right, so it has been compiled. So let's run it. So did you see that? Now I got zero. So it means it is not counting this as an argument now. So if I should pass this and say hello, did you see that? Now I got one. So if I should pass this now, I'm supposed to get what? I'm supposed to get two argument. So let me run this. Okay, this is one as well. Hello world is considered one argument. Why is it one argument? Because it is enclosed within double quotes. So this will be considered as what? As a single argument here. Okay, so here if I run this now, as you can see now, no argument, sorry, no double quotes, right? So I'm supposed to get what? I'm supposed to get two. So I have two. That is hello together with the comma and also world here. Sorry, that is this example here. Hello and also world here. Okay, so that's all we need to do in this task. So don't forget to add, commit, and push to a GitHub, and then you can run your checks. So in the next video, we are going to continue from task two of this project. So thank you very much. Till we meet in our next session.